Alright, so the Adam Smasher fight is about to become very intense once December 5th comes up because update 2.1 adds a ton of new stuff in Cyberpunk 2077. We also have a brand new Metro system, by the way, finally implemented and many, many more changes on top that will give us a ton of replayability. So the new red stream is over. We're going to go ahead over a full breakdown and let's jump right in. Now, the update is going to drop on December 5th, which is also the day that the Ultimate Edition physical box is also going to launch in stores that also contains update 2.0 and everything up to date, plus the expansion. And just before that, maybe a couple of days prior or a day at max before, the patch notes are also going to be fully released for all the changes. In the meantime, focusing on the biggest, we're going to start with the new Metro system. Yes, it's finally in the game and there are in fact 19 Metro stations that we can use and are scattered all around Night City. In total, I believe there are five metro lines operating in Night City. You can see them by their distinctive colors. So from Santo Domingo to Pacifica and back Westbrook to um, all of those locations. Basically, you will have access to pretty much every corner of the city. Now, this isn't going to be accessible from the first mission. In fact, you're going to have to wait after finishing Compeki Plaza. And then you're going to get a call by somebody to um, gain a card that you can use at these metro station lines, which is the only way to get access to them but then you can pretty much just go inside now what i like about this is that it features npcs interactions they pretty much remade the entire line so now you can physically traverse through them as you stay inside of the carts and not just that there are many npc interactions it seems that every single line and every single station will have different things to see and immerse yourself into so um, of course uh, you're going to probably want to visit each and every single one of them you can also skip by the way if you got bored in the middle of the line and just want to fast travel there you can still skip that ride in the middle of it and get immediately to your destination so yeah kind of designed like a role playing feature that you can just have fun with in a different way and speaking of role playing features the second one is the radio port so a lot of people actually complain that they can't listen to music when outside of cars well now you have your kind of like walkman that you can just turn on and listen to music we even have by the way volume control so you can adjust how well high the volume is on the music this can even be used both in combat in most situations but also when taking a ride in the new metro station or just when walking down the street in night city However, there are moments when this is going to be turned off, so mostly during main quests or conversations and other fundamental moments, this is when you're gonna see a pop-up with the radio not being accessible slash restricted during that moment, as well as during some of the very high star rating chase scenes, there are some specific music tracks that play during those moments, and you will notice that the game will not permit turning the radio port on, but in every other situation is going to completely work. But by far, my most anticipated change is the boss fights and specifically the Adam Smasher one seems to have received at least a partial rework. So no more one shot builds. It seems that according to CD Projekt Red, this will now feel like a proper boss fight. We shall wait and see because we still have a few very devastating builds out there. But the biggest one for me personally is that Adam Smasher finally uses the Sindavistan and not only for combat, but also leaving off the same trail fade effect as we had in the edge runners anime like this is the best implementation of it i've seen very close to the anime but with the color scheme and the grading of the game at no point at least from this footage did it seem out of place but it definitely seems that he's going to use it a lot so at dodging your attacks he'll no longer just face tank your attacks like he used to he also moves fast and constantly uses it for attacks against you in fact it seems that he will act differently in combat if you're playing as a net runner or as a solo so depending on what you do he's going to adapt to the situation and do things slightly differently he also seems to leave off this electricity sort of aoe in the phase change so maybe some kind of attack to repel you back but we shall wait and see for now it looks absolutely incredible it doesn't stop here however there's quite a bit of replayability added too and specifically we finally get replayable car races this is going to trigger after finishing all the race quest line for claire and then you're going to be contacted by the same npc organizer which is going to tell you you can repeat these races you will even find the flags on the map in the specific spots where you can repeat them 
but uh, you're not just going to want to repeat them for the heck of it they also provide additional new rewards this comes in the form of discounts for the auto fixer websites but also a bunch of new cars as well as bikes so you probably noticed already that we got this really awesome brand new Porsche 911 Cabriolet version which is basically a yellow color variant of the Porsche 911 that we already use in the base game. So this, there's going to be a special way to get this it seems might or might not be the replayable car portion but at least other vehicles can be earned in this way. CD Projekt Red has announced that they want us to have all of the vehicles at this point they just want us to um have them or have ways to get them in the first place another thing we're gonna get is five new motorcycles that we didn't have before this was by far the most underrepresented well i guess um type of vehicle that we didn't get access to even in phantom liberty however it doesn't stop here for the motorcycles there are two more big changes coming for them so one of them is the fact that you can now also use throwable knives while riding bikes which was previously not possible further upgrading that bike combat like how they already did in the base game and with update 2.0 um you can also do tricks now with motorcycles so there are many spots in which you can use ramps gain a bit of altitude and then do flips for example or do spins um, you can also do wheelies by the way and there are other stuntman tricks that you can pull off in the game of course we will see those on december 5th even spinning in circles by the way inside of some of these larger pipes especially the ones that were added in dogtown plus many of the big ramps that were added in dogtown they can finally be utilized to pull off these tricks so i'm all up for it um, there's also added car chases. I think that one of the biggest complaints were the fact that you would do some of these gigs to steal vehicles, but nobody would chase you. Well, if you alerted those NPCs and assuming that they are still alive, they will actually jump in a vehicle and now will actively chase you during those gigs. And many other gigs, of course, that should have involved some kind of car chase scenes. And speaking of those, they also change it so that now some of these gangs, especially if you... Um, go against them they will start chasing you too so in gigs when you made choices to go against the gang like for example the valentinos in time that gang will look for you and chase you this is going to trigger randomly at random times by the way and i already know that the maelstroms are going to chase me all over town after the first act but that's just me and they've also redone some of the unfinished highway parts there was one highway that ended up at some point around the city well they actually went ahead and just finished that off they added traffic in there and also completed everything so now we can actually go through it and previously this was by the way a good way to run and escape the police well that's no longer going to be an option now you're going to have to find a different way and on a final note, we also have some accessibility options, actually a whole new accessibility tab that kind of deals with everything on accessibility sites, um, settings, but also with the UI and everything else in between. So all of these settings are now going to be in this separate tab and some of the new changes focus on, for example, simplification or hiding of HUD elements. If you want to make it smaller or if you want to have less clutter on the screen, there are options in there to do that. Or otherwise, if you want opposite or if you want to have larger fonts and read it a bit better, there are options to do this in the interface. Also ways to disable timers for mini hacking like breaching and all of that. It's uh, totally possible to do so and many many more on top um finally we do have some extra changes that they also mentioned in the meantime like i said these aren't all exhaustive there are others that will come up with patch 2.1 but they have at least given us a glimpse into two more so one of them is full support for dual sense on the pc and they've also added more cats in night city and i believe at some point they also mentioned some kind of new interactions or animations with um, romanceable characters but i might be mistaken on that one anyway it looks like cyberpunk is finally getting its definitive version what i kind of wished happened was for a new game plus it seems that that's no longer on the table i was really hoping um, this was the update for that but it's clear it's not going to be the case I can see why because yeah CD Projekt Red wants us to just play the game with the three different paths and when you want to change you will have to start from the beginning 
that's at least the last time they reasoned about it but who knows just like the metro station maybe it will change with update 2.2 and guys, definitely go ahead and request this from CD Projekt Red. It's literally the last thing I personally want. I don't think there's anything else bigger that I want in this. And it definitely seems that they are willing to listen to this kind of feedback. So go ahead and give it to them. This is it with the update. Thanks so much for watching and until next time.